Hello, Internet. Uh, Steve here, back with another Unity Asset Store review. Today, we are going to be looking at the... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the Aquarius Fantasy Series, the Dark Elves pack from that series. Again, by Aquarius Max. Um, this pack retails for $65 USD at the time of recording this. $65 USD. Um... I think it's worth the price, but I'm going to go over that in a little bit. So uh, quality, just like with every Aquarius Max asset, they make really quality stuff. Um, I, I think that the value you get out of their products is really high. And um, I, I, yeah, I, I think that the quality is just really good, especially considering it's a, you know, relatively low poly and tris count. Um, the, the quality of the asset is, is good. Modularity and workability. Um, so uh, I, <laughs> I'm i going to give this a pass. Uh, I think that um, uh, so, so there's not an asset manifest scene. So after we do a quick run through the demo scene uh, with our character controller, I'll go into the uh, specific file hierarchy or the prefab hierarchy of um, some of the stuff that isn't in the demo scene. Um, and I'll sort of explain why I think what I think about it at that point. Um, but I do think that it passes. I, 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 I give it a pass on that. Uh, support and serviceability, like I've said in you know previous videos with for Aquarius Max, um, they've been doing this a long time. They do good support and they make good products. So support and serviceability gets a pass and then cost, uh, or sorry, the uh, uh, value rather, um, I, I, I give it a pass. I, I, I do think it's worth the 65 bucks asking price. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's worth that. So I give it a pass. So let us hop into the actual gameplay here. Uh, as always, I just put my standard first person controller in here and push play. Um, so these houses here, these are all, none of these are modular. These like more human type houses. Uh, none of these are modular, um, and there are no interiors on these. Uh, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll dive into the prefabs in a little bit. Um, but if you want like really modular, um, really modular house building, Aquarius Max has other assets for that. This isn't going to be the asset for that. Um, but I'll, I'll be doing a review of the, of the asset that that the assets that support that at some point in the near future here. Uh, so these stairs, this stair set is all one piece. Um, I would have liked to have seen those chunked out a little bit more, especially with that curve piece there. But they do have smaller uh, uh, stair pieces as well, um, which we'll look at as well. Um, so there's a lot of rock pieces. We're not going to dive into the rock pieces um, in the, the prefab folders, but just know that there are a lot of them. <laughs> there's a few different variants of this, this particular statue, but it is all the same statue, just in different light. Like there's little nuances to the differences. These walls are all uh, uh, prefab out, all modularized out. So this little piece of stairwell here is a single piece of stairwell and then this is the same stairwell that was over in the other one um let's go over here first so so these small like chapels or cathedrals or whatever you want to call them these are all single meshes like these are all one piece um, this one does have a door. I just took it off because I couldn't quite fit through it. But they all, oh man, there we go. They all clearly have interiors. And actually, let's just get this out of the way. Obviously, running works, slicing works. So, um, so yeah, uh, these chapels down here are all one piece. These pillars are modularized, um, but and this chapel is also one piece um, so there's some fx and torches and stuff like that 
um, a few crystals and other, you know, like cave and whatnot type clutter. Um, but let us go to the other cathedral here. Oh, uh, where is it? This guy here. This stair piece is a Y piece. So this, those three, these three stairs that form sort of a Y, that's all one piece. It's all one mesh as well. Which is nice. It gives you some options for making more complex stairwells. Um, so this one, this chapel up here we're going to go to is actually modularized out to a certain degree. And I'll show how that looks when we go into the um, when we go into the um, uh, prefab folder. So this chapel is all like the the front wall here is separate, the ceiling separate, the walls are separate. So you can in theory make these as big or small as you want again in theory in practice it might be a little difficult but but in theory it should work um so that's the demo scene what we're going to do is i am going to pop out here the prefabs we're going to look at we're going to skip the caves and rocks because you saw most of those in the scene here actually since we're already here we'll just click on this so you can see that the so this is that last cathedral we were in so you can see that the pieces are all modularized out and the sides are also um, uh, uh, not modularized out from each other. So you have to use these sides, but hypothetically, if you want to make it longer, you could just extend those out by duplicating it. Um, that should technically be doable. Um, oh. So, and then towers and stuff like that. So let's go into the houses. So here are those houses I mentioned at the beginning of the scene. There's no interiors, they're all single faced and they're all just one static piece for the most part. These are, if you wanna stick these into like a cave wall, that's what these would be for. Um, so these are all just like these houses, my opinion is I, I, I would just ignore them if I were gonna use this. This is where you start to get into, you have some interiors. So these ones have interiors. Um, door. <laughs> so these ones have interiors uh, and, but there's still just one, <laughs> just one static piece um, or just one static mesh rather. But you've got some options, right? There's a decent amount of variance in these. So that's good. Um, and then in here, this is the, this, this is the cathedral that we just looked at, but then you, 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 so there's, before we saw two different cathedrals that were one stack mesh. So there's actually four of them here. So there is, some, there, there are some options there, but these are still just, <laughs> just one piece, just one static mesh, just which you know I, I i i would have liked to have seen some modularization on that end some additional modular modularization on that end um so you have individual chain links uh and then you've got obviously large you know complete chains and you've got the bases and stuff like that for the chains so there's decent modularity there uh crystals i mean these are just like you you, you have options but there's not going to be any modularity there at all really um, and these are the statues. So there are statue variants. I, the, the, the differences on those are nominal. Um, so let's do this first. Let's do the wood structures. So these guys, uh, you saw these momentarily underneath the large cathedral. But there's a decent amount of these. And I think some of these, there's some of these if not all of them, are similar to the ones that were in the orc pack by Aquarius that I did, um, or that I previously did a review on. Here though, you start to get into some decent modularity. So there's, you can do a lot with these sorts of assets. Um, so you have options there. Um, pillars, there's a decent amount of pillars and pillar like solutions. 
I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, there's there's a decent amount of modularity there as well. So you've got bases and tops and the actual pillars and stuff. So you've got options, um, or you know, you've got modular options there. So a decent amount of uh, this is where you get into the stairwells, the stair structures. Um, the other ones, the ones that we saw in the actual um, in the actual uh, what's it called um, demo scene, those were actually um, those were actually uh, what's it called? Those were actually um, uh, those are in the cave pieces folder. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll do this first. So you've got a decent amount of walls that you could hypothetically build some cool stuff with. Um, but then the ruined walls, the ruins, this is where you start to get into really neat modularity that you can really, if you're a creative level designer, you could do a lot with these pieces. I would have actually liked to have seen more of more pieces in this particular um, category, if I'm being honest, because like you can do a lot of cool stuff with these sorts of, of assets. And I, I, I really would have liked to have seen where they could have taken this further. But um, yeah, that's so there is modularity there. I think that um, I, I think the demo scene on this one doesn't quite do it justice. Um, but there's definitely modularity there and there's definitely value there. I, I, like I said, at the top of the, the review, I think this is worth the 65 bucks hands down. So, um, yeah, I, I, I would, if, if you're going to build a medieval game, I, I think, and you want some level of like, like non, you know, Cintiq Studios poly type, like, like you want, a, you know, a little bit more fidelity, uh, Aquarius is definitely the way to go. Like the Aquarius max assets are, are solid assets. So. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have this asset, let me know what you think. If you don't and have questions that I'd be able to answer, let me know. And I will see everyone in the next one.